I'm gonna stand up and run. I'll even sprint. Now, one thing about the range, the rain, is you'll see you have a temperature. You can actually get sick in this game. If you drop your temperature too low, you can, uh, you'll start shaking, shivering. Things will go more black and white. And you'll also cough. So you'll be coughing all the time. I'm not sure if zombies hear the coughing, but it's just unsettling. It's like a... <laughs> but... Since I'm going to show you how we do this, how I do this, we're going to be always running between towns, and running in the sun, even if it's raining, seems to keep you warm enough. Where the heck am I? I didn't want to come back this close to the main highway. I always avoid the main highway. Well, that looks like it might be hot now. I honestly thought we were west of Electro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's hot now. Okay, well... We are east of Electro. And we do not want to go there. But there is an easy way. If you look on your map for Electro, you'll see on the northeast side of it there's a power plant. Which, uh, there's some goodies there. Maybe we'll check it out. But there's often a lot of snipers. I like to go around the north of that. And then we can follow the wires. will take us directly to Frigadorkly. Or Frigorod... Frigorodki. Frigorodki. Frigorodkis are short-term goal. So, I think once we hit Electro, that's what we'll do. Follow the wires. Sorry if it's boring, but hey, that's the way it goes, man. As you see, a building, a zombie. It's not anything you can enter, it's of no use for us, it's just something we have to go around. We don't want to engage them. Zombies sometimes have loot, but it's usually an empty tin can or an empty whiskey bottle. Uh, play a cop? Oh. Shit. <laughs> Whoops, ran right into that guy. 
Now, I might get swarmed here. I might be getting swarmed. Oh, I'm bleeding out. See the flashing light? That means I'm bleeding out and my blood is going down. You have to bandage yourself as fast as possible. Go to inventory, right click on bandage and click bandage myself. It'll take a few minutes. So if you're getting thumped by zombies while doing this, it's not a good thing. So there you go. I went from 12,000 to 10,000 health. To, to restore some of that, I can eat. Let's eat a can of beans. That'll give me 200. Better than nothing. That's why you gotta pay attention. Thought I heard a song. Okay, I see the power lines. No, I think we are getting close to Prigadorky. Anyways, we can follow the power lines. And since that's a building, there's going to be zombies. So we can go around the south side or the north side. I pick north. More cover up here. I don't want to be anywhere near that road. Don't see any zombies. Should be able to run through here. I always wonder when I don't see zombies where I expect to see them, that can mean that there's been a human through there killing them. Humans are. Zombies are dangerous, but so are humans. Okay, this is going to be our target. This is our first objective. We're in uh, the northeast part of Pregorodki. I have trouble pronouncing that. Pregorodki. So. I like to stick to the bushes. We'll just come at it from the north. So here's our overview. Three barns there. All of them have potential loot, and we want that potential loot. The most lucrative is probably what that guy. That's what we call a barn. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go down there and loot everything. Uh, this is your first lesson, and this is you're going to be doing this quite often. Uh, the barns are kind of, kind of a refuge. They're kind of cool. So, I'm going to aim for the building on the right first. I might change my mind when I'm down there, but I'm going to aim for that building at this end. Then I'm going to go in the back of the one behind it and then finish off with this one. We'll see how it goes. And the trick is to do it without enraging any zombies.
in there, in there, there. Okay, I'm going to slow down. I hear something. The rain's making it muffled. Oh, there he is. I think we're going to do the the big barn first. Oops, I don't want to run. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. When in doubt, crawl. And you have to to get under here. Now, we don't want to fire a shot. Uh-oh. I see a dead zombie on the stairs. That means someone could be in this barn that killed that or has been here recently. So we might not find a lot of loot or we might find a survivor in there that'll shoot us as soon as we walk in. You'll be seeing this a few times. That's ammo for a revolver. I'll take a bandage. Oh, there is none. Now, one thing you got to remember is to always stay away from the walls, even when you're up a level. Because if a zombie's on the opposite side, he might get aggravated and can actually hit you because of a bug in the engine and hit you through the wall. And then you have a shitload of zombies on you. Here's some wood. We don't need that yet because we got a hatchet. This is a great score. I'm not going to take the world flares, they're good for night, and we're not going to do any night stuff, at least now. Not in the next few hours. More stuff over there. Makarov mag, but as you see, we're full. I've got like two bandages. Out of the eight slots, i got six Makarov mags and two bandages. Just quietly walk. Don't fall off the stairs either. That'll kill you. Break your legs, whatever. Break your legs, then kill you. See, if I get too close to that wall and there's a zombie on the other side of it, he can hit me. Yeah, it just flares. Steel bolt, that's for the crossbow. You often find crossbows in barns. You can take out zombies silently. Well, we already got a hatchet, so. Junk. Oh, what's this? Got a road flare and a steel bolt, and some 45 ammo. So. This ain't what I wanted. Remember to stay away from the walls. 
I want to go up these doors and to that other barn. Let's just do it safe. our jackpot. That's our Winchester. Remember to stay away from the walls. Always be careful. That's a pile of wood, which we don't care about yet. It takes up two inventory slots. So let's grab the Winchester. Two slugs. Takes up room in our inventory, but. To, sw to switch weapons, use your mouse scroll wheel. And click. Technically, if I want to shoot someone here, I'd rather use the Makarov because it's quieter. Oh, look, there's two Winchesters in here. If you had enough room in your pack, you could store the two-handed weapon that you have and pick up another one. But we only have eight slots in our backpack. That's why one of our major goals is to get a backpack. That's odd. Three in here. Three Winchesters. dead zone. Someone was here recently. Nothing. Let's crawl. Damn it, we aggroed him. That's the problem is uh, when he hits steps. Let's go back to our macro. When he hits steps, it makes you stand up. But I was going fast, so I stood up and ran fast, and he heard me. And if I shoot him, I'm going to get everyone on our ass down here. So, here's your first battle. the whole planet was going to come down on our head. We're lucky. That's why I used the Makarov. If I fired that Winchester, everyone around here for like 200 meters would have been on our butts. It's got nothing. Here's a Lee Enfield. I prefer the Winchester. like a whole whack of Makarov magazines, but we got a lot. We got six. So let's get the hell out of here. 